Quarterback.com, and they released the uh, their weekly quarterback. You know, they basically put quarterbacks in a ranking moving forward. Right now, Tua oh, is God. sitting at number five behind Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, and I don't don't remember the rest. Maybe like Tom Brady. I I, I, oh. I don't know, but. Tua is sitting at number five right now. I was jumping on the AFC East trash talk group that we have over here at facebook.com forward slash man hour sports. And people are ranting and raving saying that Tua is going to win the MVP this season, Combs. So way or no way, with the 71% completion rated so far this year, over 2,200 yards, 18 touchdowns, and three interceptions, Tua is the front runner of to win the MVP this season, way or no way? I'm going to say no way. Um, you know, right now, if, I, if I'm if i having a vote, I might not even give it to, to a quarterback right now. Um, I know it's a primarily quarterback-driven award, and that's what everybody wants to see. But I, if, I'm go, if I'm going with MVP, I'm looking into Minnesota right now, and I'm looking at Justin Jefferson. Right. Um, I when you talk about quarterbacks and ranking them at number five, we actually I actually did this the other day um, as an exercise with somebody about about Justin Fields. Actually, I went through it team by team by team. You know, would you Justin Fields or this guy? Justin Fields or that guy? And, and we I think we had Justin Fields at, at six or seven, and I think people would think that that's crazy too. But when you start looking at it quarterback by quarterback. I would say two is probably in that five to seven range, right? Like I, I wouldn't be mad at people right now for taking Tua over Justin Fields. I wouldn't be mad right now for people taking like, you go in his own division, right? You're taking him over over Zach, right? Uh, taking him over Zach Wilson. Uh, pro- yeah, I mean Zach, yeah. Zach, was, I mean, Zach, yeah, yeah, Zach's not playing playing well. Yeah, yeah, it, it, you take him over Mac Jones, right? Uh, probably, yeah, yeah. And you go go away from his division because you're not taking him over Josh Allen, right? That's crazy. No, that's crazy talk. You're not taking him over Josh Allen. Let's just go. With, let's just go with the top quarterback. You taking him over Lamar? Uh, no. I think I think Lamar so is two. better than than. You taking him two. over Joe Burrow? <sighs> Hell no. Probably not. Hell no. no. Yeah. No. I wouldn't even. What are you thinking about? I wouldn't even think about that one. Well, uh, the the reason that I hesitated is because Jamar Chase is out for Joe for Joe Burrow, and you know he is his well, number right, one. Right, but I'm, I'm saying as a quarterback, you're, we're saying if we put all these quarterbacks on the same field, oh, okay, right, with the same play, I got you. That, I, I mean, got that's you. how you usually do. Right. Okay. You know, so so he's better than any quarterback in the AFC South, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna take any of those guys, right? I mean, unless you're, I, are you taking? Um, no, I'm not uh, taking Ryan Ryan Tannehill. Over Tannehill? Him. No. Okay. Um, you, then you go to the AFC West, and, and I can tell you there's three quarterbacks there I'd rather have than Tua. I'm, I'm taking Patty Mahomes over him. Right. I'm taking Justin Herbert over Tua, and I'm probably taking Derek Carr over Tua. Right. Okay. So that's six. And you go to go to the NFC. Are you taking Jalen Hurts over Tua? Right now, Hurts is performing, so no. Okay. What about Dak Prescott? <sighs> Yeah, probably. So that's seven. Now you're taking them over Danny Dimes, probably. Yeah. You're taking them over Henneke. Yep. Right. Taking them over Kirk Cousins. You're probably taking them over at this point. You're taking them over. Well, hang, hang, hang on. Kirk Cousins is putting up MVP numbers, better numbers than last year when he should have won the MVP over Aaron Rod- yeah. Rodgers. Uh, I don't know if I'm going that. I. I we can make that all right. I'll, I'll give it to you. So, so there's eight you have over Tua. What about do you, do you, Justin Fields? Would you take Justin Fields or Tua? Uh, Moving forward for the next 10 years, who are you taking? Uh, Justin Fields. Okay. So Tom Brady, you'll probably take him over at this point. Mariota, you take him over at this point. I don't know who the Panthers quarterback is, but you take him over him at this point. Yep. Um, uh, the Saints, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm definitely I'm taking him over Jameis at this point. Um, Geno Smith, uh, you, Jimmy G, taking him over there. Matt Stafford, you're taking him over there. You taking him over Kyler? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Kyler sucks. Okay, so so right now you would have Tua at nine, right? You know what I mean? So so that's where people get all up in arms because you start thinking about who who would you rather have, and you start looking at all the other quarterbacks. And that's how, how people look at it. But look, people are always going to defend their guy. I mean, that's just what it is. Like me, 
I'm always going to defend Justin Fields, right? Because I, I go into it and people are always like, oh, well, Justin Fields, he's just a runner. He's just this. He's getting the same stuff that Lamar Jackson gets, right? But then you got to defend him, right? There's a, he's, he's a runner because he has no offensive line and he has no weapons. He has no choice but to run the ball. I just told you the times that he has in his own pocket, right? So he has to be a runner. So, he, But the people will defend Tua being fifth. But then the people that don't aren't Dolphins fans, they're going to be like, wait a minute. Tua? Like I'm, I'm taking a lot of people over Tua, especially with concussion issues. Like, I don't know if Tua's going to play next week. Like, so I, I don't agree with Tua being fifth, um, but I, 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 I don't have a problem with him being in that five to seven range. So here's the problem that I have with Tua even being considered for the MVP. Normally, when you win an MVP, you have to play a complete season, right? Tua has missed three games already this season because of injury issues. Now, on the flip side of the coin, he has been undefeated when he has played, right? So as a quarterback, Mm -hmm. excuse me, as a quarterback starting in any of the game, he is undefeated. So I can see where that MVP talk could come into play. But when it comes to push and shove, I want to give the MVP to a player that I know is going to be there week in and week out. Justin Herbert. Hell, I think Geno Smith is probably the front runner for the MVP this year. He is hands down the most valuable player on the Seattle Seahawks team. Where would they be without him? Think about this, Combs. Uh, Preseason. We all thought he was going to be a one and done. Week one, he is going to shit the bed. The Seahawks are going to suck. They're going to put in Drew Locke, Jacob Eason, whoever, right? Hello. The Seahawks are in first place in the NFC West. They are firmly a competitive team right now. And they went to Arizona. They whooped the Arizona Cardinals. Geno Smith is probably the front runner of the MVP. Tua, to, to me, is probably not even in the conversation. The only reason why people are putting them in the conversation is because the Dolphins are currently in first place in the best division of football, and that's the only reason why. And like it, it the MVP is a very skewed award at the end of the day. Right now in the NFL, MVP means best quarterback on the best team. They, they need to change, 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 change it because I think now, Geno Smith now, is a true if you're most valuable in the next player video, for, for the his team. Link right here. Of course, subscribe right here. And always join us Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. East Coast time right here where you're watching this clip. And as always, Man Hour Nation, rise up.